This video is going to show us how to bootstrap the predictions from simple linear regression. We'll start with kind of rehearsing the idea of the bootstrap in this new context, and then we'll switch over to R, where we'll go through a formal example of bootstrapping um, the predictions uh, for simple linear regression. So the bootstrap procedure is going to repeatedly, for index little r, sample some indices of the original data. And let's just say we get observation 2, 3, 4, 3, 7, 9, 12, n minus 6 as our indices. When we go to make a prediction, we are going to pick out some value. Let's call it x new for a really terrible name. We're going to estimate the coefficients beta hat naught and beta hat one. And then we're going to plug in the value x new into that equation, add together the slope times that new value plus the intercept, and we will get out y hat new. So what we're literally going to do in each bootstrap resample is resample with replacement uniformly uh, all of the indices from the original data set. With that uh, resample, we're going to estimate the intercept and the slope, and then we'll plug in some value x new, and based on that resample uh, slope, we're going to get out some new y hat. And that's just on the first resample. On the second resample, we will get a new vector of indices from which we're going to get a new beta hat naught plus some new beta hat one. x new will stay the same but because we resampled to get different beta hat knots and beta hat ones, the value for y hat we get out will still be based on x nu, but will also be based on our resampled coefficients. So really, it's like we should index the y hats with both nu, because they're based on a specific x value, but we should also index them relative to little r, the resample we specifically took. And on the third resample, we're going to get new indices. That's going to give us new coefficients. We apply the model relative to the steady value x new, and we get out a new value of y hat. And we'll call that one y hat new sub 3. By the time we finish this procedure, across something like capital R equal to a thousand and one resamples of indices and each time we get out different coefficients and we multiply our model by that fixed value x nu, we're going to have in the end capital R values of y hat nu. So it's as if for each new line going through this data set, we continue to ask what does that new bootstrap resampled line estimate based on the value of x new. And if you were to think about it, you'd essentially get a sampling distribution here for y hat, from which, of course, you could calculate confidence intervals if you wanted. This picture takes a little bit to interpret, but this is how you'd estimate a sampling distribution of y hat based on a specific value from the x-axis. Let's dive into R and see if we can figure out how to convince the library and function named boot to do this for us. I'm going to keep with the same setup that we've seen before using the donkey's data set with girth as the explanatory variable, height as the response variable. I'm going to load our library ggplot2, the data set, fit our original model, 
remind you that you can extract the vector of coefficients, which I'm going to call beta, with the function coeth on your fitted object. And then you could make a prediction about y hat using vectorized R code to say at the uh, girth of about 109, we expect height to be about 98. So that is kind of making a single prediction from all of our original data's estimate of the vector beta. Now, if we wanted to um, bootstrap, and we do, to bootstrap the predictions themselves, we have to basically write ourselves a function that takes a data set and an index and then returns for some specified value of x, oops, I called it x new earlier, for some specified value of x, we'd have to return the prediction itself after indexing our observations by the resampled indices, IDX. So this is the code we'd have to write up for the bootstrap predictions of y hats, that is estimates of the response variable based on a specific value of the explanatory variable. We'll create an object B from the library named boot, which contains a function named boot that takes a data frame, some statistic that is function to calculate uh, on a data set, and a number of times to resample. Let's see, gotta load the function, we'll call the bootstrap procedure on our function boot hat. It runs really relatively quickly, which is nice. And from there, we can call the function boot.ci on the object B, specify type equals to percent, and we can get out a 95% bootstrapped percentile based confidence interval for predictions of height when girth is equal to 109. So in fact, it looks like 109 puts us up here. So our confidence interval is really right about uh, 98. Oh, look at how narrow that confidence interval is. We are incredibly confident about our prediction of the height of a donkey when the girth is 109. That confidence interval is still within the same integer, 98. That's fantastic. So in fact, we have a very narrow sampling distribution right here about our prediction for the confidence interval. Now, here's what's really cool about this um, bootstrap function. You can pass other variables to the function you pass to boot, like let's write a variable named x new, and we can get rid of this all the way. After the number of bootstrap resamples we want, we could say x new equal to 109 and rerun all of this. So let's see what we got, 98.05 to 98.88. When we rerun this, because the bootstrap procedure is random, we will get something slightly different, but it should be really very close to what we had before, 98.08 and 98.84, that is incredibly close. The nice thing about this uh, abstracted boot underscore y hat function is you could arbitrarily change this x new value and all the rest of it stays the same so you don't end up in mistakes like I had before where I forgot to redeclare the function. So here is a bootstrap confidence interval based off the girth of 80. We don't actually have any donkeys down there, and yet our model can still predict at that value. That's getting to be a little dangerous for reasons I'll explain later on, but for now, let's try to interpret the confidence interval in context of the data. We are 95% confident that when an 
I'll emphasize it this time, an average donkey with girth of, there's the eight, 80 centimeters, we expect the donkey's height to be between 84.82 and 88.01 centimeters. There is a reasonable interpretation of the 95% bootstrapped percentile based confidence interval for a prediction of a donkey's height when the girth of the theoretical donkey is 80 centimeters. Now I've got a challenge for you in this video. I would encourage you to try passing a new data frame. So instead of a single observation, x new, into your function boot y hat, see if you can use the function apply inside boot y hat to make multiple bootstrap predicted confidence intervals at once. So that is you could pass in an entire um, vector of values for uh, what is taking place of that 80 right now. It would be nice if you could figure out a way to make that apply to a whole vector of values and get confidence intervals for all of them in one run of the function boot. That one's going to be a bit tricky though. Give it a shot.